Hi everyone, today I'll be showing you how to create a virtual host on one server. So I'm running one server, it's on the replication, so on Apache, I have my SQL, my database, and different types of PHP. So I'm going to create a virtual host. I'm already running one website. To do so, make sure all your services are running. And then I'll click on local host. When you click on local host, you'll be brought to that very page. And then I'll go back. I want to click on PHP my admin. Open PHP my admin. There are PHP my admin. I want to create a new database. Go to database. I want to create a database called Josh WP. And then I'll choose the first option. Create it. And uh, that's it. It has been successfully created. I'll go to my volume C. Under that, you have one server. And then I want to go to www folder. I'm already running another website, so I'll create a new folder within the www folder, which I'll call Josh WP. Once I've created that, I'll save it. And then I'll go to another folder. Make sure to download WordPress from the official website, get the, the latest version and then extract here. I want to install it under volume C. I'll open one server, open WW folder. So I want to save it to Josh WP and then extract it there. Once extracted, let's go back to our folder. And then inside our folder, we have now WordPress. We want to edit this file called WP config sample. Edit it with Notepad. Let me enlarge on it. So we have a few things we want to do here. I want to change the database name. My database name is Josh WP. And then my username is root. Change that to root. The password will leave it is blank. So you delete what is there. Then go to files. I want to save this as. And then I want to save it as a new file. Just remove the sample portion and the iframe and then save. And close that. And go back. So you will see we have the WP config file. So now I'll come back to the local host. You have the add a virtual host button, click on that. The name of my virtual host, I'll call it Josh WP. And then the path, I want to choose the path where that um, virtual host will be installed. So it is on volume C. And as you can see under volume C, um, with mine is a WAMP server 64. So I'll change this to one server 64. You have the WW file. So if I open that, you'll see that we have the WW file. But within the WW file, we have another folder called Josh WP. So we have WW and then Josh WP. Make sure to name it appropriately. Once I've done that, that's it. I'll not make any other more change uh, this other option ignore it don't do anything let's go directly to create your virtual host now click that button and as you can see i have my success message and then now i'll go back to home under your virtual host we have a new item called josh wp if you click it it should just direct you back to local host with that name so it's functioning so what do we go to a new tab type in localhost and then the path is josh wp wordpress slash wp slash admin so this is the trick make sure after localhost you have the path which is josh wp and then your wordpress files are installed in that path and then wp admin and click enter so now I've been directed to this page to install, set up our WordPress. You're welcome.
information that is in here make sure to fill your information the site title username and your email and copy your password make sure to copy your password and then go to the next page and then here we go we have a success message so let's log in now before logging you can see website has been installed thank you so your username is usually p and then the password i told you to copy now let's log in and uh, make sure to update your password or save it and uh, now we have successfully installed wordpress so i have two wordpress for running at server and you can see our virtual host is http our database name is http and you can go and repeat the step again add as many virtual hosts as you can and uh, once you validate your virtual host they will be listed under virtual host